I'm disappointed. Yeah. No, it's too far. It's too far. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, I uh, deliberately put on a tie because this presentation is not going to be a technical presentation, it's about business. And uh, in my real life, I'm not executive director of STIC. That's one of the half of dozen hobbies I have. In my real life, I have to run companies, and actually um, two with three locations, one in uh, Köthen, that's where I live, one in Dortmund, and one in Zurich. So um, uh, that's the... Uh, Situation. So today, I want to talk to you about a problem we and a few others have come across doing business. And uh, that's about the problem with Excel. So you've got Excel spreadsheets and you want to, or are forced to, do reports out of them, which you never did before, never thought about, but you have to do it somehow. And um, I will speak about the idea of how this can be achieved. And as this is a small talk conference, guess what? Using small talk. And I'm very happy to introduce to you something which was not planned up front, but decided yesterday on the fly. I have a co-speaker, which I never had in any of the presentations. Welcome, Anik. Anik is, um, <laughs> has a small company in France. And I know Anik from uh, the, founding, uh, the founding event of ESAC as an organization. And Anik volunteered to become the first treasurer of ESAC. That was sitting in the room, so I feel myself as being a co-founder. I voted uh, that it should be founded. And Anik had to do all the initial work. Thank you for that, and you see how it went on. And she is the author of two books, one about Java, so she knows more than Smalltalk, that's what I can say, I have no idea what this in this book, I didn't read any of them, so. <laughs> but, uh, and uh, she showed me yesterday the same idea I had with Excel, how this applies to Word. And I think, I think we should share this with you in the same way. So, when I founded my company, it was actually in Paris where the idea got implemented to found a company. The original mission was to spread small talk in Central Europe. So our idea of Central Europe ended somewhere at the Pyrenees. Uh, so it's the first time I'm here in uh, Spain for uh, this purpose. But anyway, we are working worldwide right now. And uh, we have two subsidiaries, and that building over there is our illegal headquarters or whatever. That's where I work and live, and not the official headquarters. So the main activities are Smalltalk, Smalltalk, and Smalltalk. We do everything a software house does in Smalltalk. And our main approach is to build, to work in teams, and our teams try to solve Smalltalk problems. This is our team. We have currently 14 Smalltalkers, most of them uh, experienced. So we have youngsters only four years in Smalltalk, OK? Everybody have to do something for the young people, so, and we are still looking for more. Um, and uh, we have another division which does craftsmanship, so that house which I showed was built by our own organization, or renovated by the own organization. And one of the problems we had with Axel were just generated by this team. 
and um, certainly we have a business administration manager. So, Excel is a very, very, very often used tool in, the in, in, in businesses. So every manager has PowerPoint to show their ideas and Excel to... Okay, so that, that's her application, not mine. This is running in the background. And um, so Excel is used for all kinds of data to be represented. And um, it's part of the um, Microsoft Office suite. And this was just an analysis published two months ago that on 27, 72% uh, 70, of all internet computers, there is a Microsoft Office installation. So it's pretty available. And I would say on 100% of all the businesses, there is some Excel. So the situation is Excel is so easy to use, and even James Forster mentioned Excel as a model for to do uh, object databases. So data can be collected and stored in tables very easy. For example, just on uh, Saturday, I was doing a collection of or helping to collect money for society. So we had this pile of money on the table, and how much is it? So I just created an Excel spreadsheet that said there were one 20 euro uh, bill, 10, um, 10 euro bills, and 15, and so on, and so on, and so edited it. So it was very, very simple to do this. And um, so the short-term need, I had to know within five minutes how much money it is. It's very, very easy to do. It adapts, so if, if it would be a 50 note in there, okay, let's put another line in it and put it 50 into it. If someone would give a 100 note, no problem. If one would give a cent, no problem. You can just edit it any time. And the reality is that this is how people work in business. So if the demand changes, they change their Excel spreadsheets. So, and they build them up year after year after year. They save them on disk. And when they have a new need in another year, okay, let's have another column. I have another row and rechange this, make it a little bit more beautiful. Okay, we don't have to change the old things because that's very, very slightly to be modified. And this is also the problem. When after the years, you come back and said, now I want to know how much was the entire investment of this building? Spread by activity, but regardless of when it was done. Then the, it starts to get complicated. Mostly people do this by copy and paste, or by changing the old spreadsheets again. Regardless how they do it, it is error prone, and it is labor intense. Who of you had this problem? Is none of you in business? A few of them are. Um, I had this problem over and over again. And uh, the problem is the flexibility. So what is the benefit of Excel is also the downside. That's often the case. The flexibility in the small is the difficulty in the large. And it has the same reason. If you, if you look behind it, it is so easy because the data model is so easy. The data model is cells, and a cell is errors by column and row. And suddenly there is a business model behind, but this is lost in headlines of uh, the table or in text associated to it or in the name of the file or in the name of the sheet. So it's human readable, so a human never has a problem to interpret the, the spreadsheet. A program does. And so uh, the incomprehensibility of the X Excel comes with a, with a programming system called VBA, uh, so Visual Basic for Applications. But this still sits on the data model, which is the basic data model which comes with Excel. So macro programming does not really help. So when I was thinking and having this real problem and pressure on it, and someone said, we need to know how much the facade costs, cost it. I said, by the way, how can we find out about it? And so I said, okay, we have this wonderful tool, Smalltalk, 
why not make a normal object model for, for the business we are doing? Yeah, we have this wonderful product, ComConnect. Why not read all the data into the object models and file it out again on another Excel spreadsheet as the customer wants? So, and as there are variants, there are variants of reading algorithms. That's easy. So I say, OK, in this particular year, 2004, please read the number of hours from column D. And in 2005, please read them from column E. So that's not very difficult to be done. So and then we are in our normal world. We are in Smalltalk. We can do all the analysis in Smalltalk and apply all the business rules there. And at the end, we can write it back to new Excel spreadsheets, do all the formatting also from Smalltalk and have great things to present. And the guy who receives it is in his world. He gets an Excel spreadsheet and even gets an Excel with formulas in it and gets everything he wants or she wants in this particular case and uh, can move on from there. And then I got an email back from her. I said, I found out that your son was right. I said, OK, guess what? It was Smalltalk who did it. So um, we have done a couple of experiences with it. Um, the last one, I'm not even allowed to let you know what the name of the company who does it. It's in the automation industry. The second one was something I'm very happy to show you all the Smalltalk part of it, but no data. That was the cost of our building. My wife said, no way that anybody may is allowed to see the, the, the figures. But uh, also another application was done with it. This is the timetable for Anad University. There the situation is a variant of that. So they, are, they had the problem that they were using Excel to document their timetables. So they were doing all kinds of transformations for timetables. And they didn't want to have a single Excel spreadsheet. They wanted an Excel spreadsheet per teacher an Excel spreadsheet with overview over all the teachers, an Excel spreadsheet for each department, an Excel spreadsheet for each building, and so on and so on and so on. But they all had to be consistent. And doing this with Excel and copy and paste and sorting is just out of capability because it has to be done over and over and over again. Not, not only every semester had to be redone, because when they get the Excel spreadsheet said, no way, we need to move this class over there. And there we have 50 students, so we have to split the class. And there, you know all this. And you can't get this room because. And so there's all this kind. So there's a weekly or bi-weekly and some sort of hourly, another need to rerun the situation. And this I'm allowed to show to you. So we come back to the demo. And finally, thanks to um, um, Anik, we have three demos, three parts of the demo. First of all, we have a black box demo of the timetable uh, situation. I can show it to you, and I can show to you the initial implementation and then an implementation. You know, when, we, when I did it, it was done just for the purpose to do it, but not to show it to anybody. So the small talk piece of it didn't look so nice, you know. Some of you who have done Smalltalk know that you can hack in Smalltalk. And that's, but I show this to you anyway. So I was sitting down in the back yesterday and the day before and uh, said, OK, I have to do something about it. And this is then the code I can show to you. And I speeded it up, so it's faster now. Um, and um, then we will see. Um, then I want to go with you into the ComConnect. And, uh, uh, there is a guy sitting in our curtain office who did the ComConnect for Syncom, and he really did a great job. Alexander Augustin, and I want to mention his name, really implemented the idea of, and I will come to that point when, when I go into the demo, he had the idea of, look, when you are in Java and you have a system that talks to another system, what you need to do, you have to create in your client who wants to talk to the other world, the a, a facade for the other objects. Every single message has to be created in the client side to talk to the server because of typing, et cetera, and static analysis. 
In principle, you don't have to do this in Smalltalk, but the old Com did it anyway. So there was a component in the old implementation of Com that took the type libraries and created all the Smalltalk classes for it. In the example of Excel, you have to create a, v a different implementation for each version of Excel you have. So if you have want to support Excel 2003 and 2007 and 10, you have three completely different implementations in your system. And you have to do it for ev every core class you want to use, so one 2007 <laughs> application class, one 2007 uh, worksheet class, one 2007 worksheets class, et cetera, et cetera, and for every method. So because they all have different identities and all the identities are in the code, so you get huge class libraries, and it was the idea to just get rid of all of that and to use objects just to describe what's already in there in the type libraries. Okay, that's the second part and the third part. We will see that. Okay, now I want to show you Smalltalk. You all want to see Smalltalk. I have to find the right image. This is the 771 image with the smaller things. And um, what, I, what I can do here is I just run the other one first. I think it's just called, it's called. This is German, yeah. I, w I will have a look at into the real. I go to the. Hmm? Are this yours? Yes. Sorry. Thank you. Um, I want a. I want a war launcher. Okay. So I'm. 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 I'm trying to play the. Uh, uh, Jim Robertson, who is, couldn't make it to here, so I tried to be as good as he is normally. So I want to go SPZ, Lehrveranstaltung, Class Site, Utilities. There we are. So what you can see in the back, there's, you see the, the scroll bar on the right? So it's writing top to bottom all kinds of Excel spreadsheets. It did read the Excel spreadsheet in the initial thing, and now it builds up another Excel and writes more. And so you see this all flashing in the background. And um, I will, it takes a while. If I interrupt it, I will get Excel errors. If I close one of those, because. Uh, Yes, but, but not that flashy. This we know that it, you can see more. And this one. So it takes a while. Now it's done. And I can show you the new version just uh, to um, see the comparison. It still opens the window and still flashes, so it would go away if I would minimize it, but it's not minimized by design. No, no, but you, can, you can tell it it's not showing. Of course. Yeah, 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 of course. Of course. The default that is that, that it doesn't show up. But, and I will go through it uh, in a minute. I, I wanted to show this to you. It's that it flashes. So, um, Okay, done. Now I, we want to go into the browser. This is my image, right? Not a workspace. I want, this is my browser. No, that's not my. Where is my launcher? This, this is my launch. This. Okay, there we are. So what we have is we have a class com application which doesn't do much, it just gives you an application, and, but it creates a com display driver with this expression, so, and the self 
application name is subclass responsibility as it has to be, so it's the Axel application. So when I execute this, I get an Axel object reflected into my image. Can we find a definition for that? Yes. Tools. Tools. Come, browse automation classes. And this is an, an a view looking like a small talk browser, but the contents is the entire type libraries installed on my Windows 7 machine. And it gives the programmer, can we find? It's Microsoft Excel, so we have to look under M. There are many. Microsoft Access, ActiveX, Development, it's gone. Excel 14, so it's version 14. And in here we have application. And so we can see down here some information how to create it. So we could either say the version dependent version or any version, the independent version. So what the browser tells you, what is the expression you can execute to create such an object? So if we would do this, and inspect it. No, it doesn't do the inspect here. So but what we can do here is we can create and inspect it here. We get an inspector of an Excel object. Do you want to see it? We can go in here, go to the objects which are there. Click, go in here, go to visible. That was your point. This is a trippy, so the normal standard um, um, small talk in uh, Spectre, and it was on false, so I say except over here, and you see the Excel popping up. This is the Excel object when you do the visibility. So we can go back here, going in here and saying false. Okay, no, we can say just false again. Except that will go away. But we'll not be closed. To close it, it's still there, it's still up and running. To close it, we can call the quit function. The quit is over here. And we can just either say invoke method quit or just quit. So we can just do it, self quit. So do it. Now it will be gone. So because it wasn't visible, <laughs> you couldn't see it anyway. So with this inspector and browser, you can help yourself through the functionality Excel provides. You can go to every of the objects. You can hang around. You can know which property is which. So everything you would do and you can do, you can be done. And mostly, as you can see in here, it still gives you the small talk syntax and the simplified syntax, how to call it. And um, we could have had said, send it from here. If we do it again, we get a nil because it's no longer there. It's gone. It's already quitted. Yeah? It is in the newest version. There are the constants there. OK, so that's one of the, either it's in 771 or we'll be in 7. Eight. It's one of the new features that all the Excel constants will be at enumerators there. Right now, if you want to do something, you have to know the numbers. But it will be, it's either there in 7, it was not in 7.7, 7, but it will be in uh, either in 7.7.1 7, or in 7.8.
Ya, ya, ya. So let's go back to our application. What, what is the nightmare that uh, Anik describes is the question, how shall I do it? And there are basically three resources. One is the browser we just saw. The second one is very now renowned for people who are doing programming in, um, in, uh, uh, in VBA. This is the macro recorder provided by the products. So you can just record the product, the, the functionality you do interactively, and you just uh, uh, replay it afterwards or take pieces from there and then you know what happened behind the scenes. Or the third way is browse literature and browse the internet, all the tech notes people are giving in the forums, how to do it. Yeah, there's also a bunch of help texts around. So, but what I wanted to show to you briefly is this <laughs> compiles to things that we said, okay, we want the Excel application there. We want something to be done more easily, like auto format, so arrange, groups and items, select, etc. And this is this is what what is done in here. So it gets all the cells, the selection, gets the selection. We did it, or close sheet is not, so that, that is self-application, get workbook, close, colon, false, it is just saving, or the save is even more, in, there are others which are save as. So save as has the situation that we always ask you, do you want to overwrite this? But when you write a little script, you don't want to get this interaction because you know you want to overwrite it. And the only way to do this is to set display alerts to call and then set it back to what it was. And there's, this is one of the constants we were speaking about. The file format 56 is the old older versions. All this uh, secret information uh, goes in here, but um, as this has been written before the, um, the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Active Workbook is a, a policy access. It is, it is, it is, you, know, you have this in, in, in Visual Basic, you have properties, which are instance variables, and you have uh, functions, which are messages. From the Smalltalk side, if you want to read a, an instance variable from the Excel side, you prefix it with get, and then the name of the property. So get active workbook gives the property active workbook the, the, op, the, the a, a reference to the Excel object, which is the active workbook in the application but object. Do the it just does interfaces, yes. And you have to read it. Hmm? And you have to read it. No, that's all done by the garbage collector. So the, rele the, the release of the interfaces, but there is a garbage collector behind. It's all done in there. So, so because the, the, the COM objects are released uh, behind the scenes, you don't have to care about it. So, but that's the COM, that's the interface part. What's, what's in this COM part, it's not on the, on the, on the real Excel side. We can go in this offline uh, if you are interested in there more. So that was the thing. And when, when it comes to the uh, Excel application, this is how the reading works. So we go through here. We send get workbooks open. And then we get, an, get, get, the, uh, get the active workbook. And then we read everything. And then we correct things. That's also important. That is the basic thing which is in here, the correction algorithm, which is run before it writes things back to the, to the, um, to the, to the target. So that's the Excel part. We have more in here. This is, this is now a pretty simple thing. It's just one class. 
which is here with a lot of instance variables like remarks and et cetera, et cetera. So because it's just one single table. When we look into uh, the um, other application, you see much more classes like a worker who has to work a certain amount of hours during the, the year or uh, something which got purchased. So it has an, a, a someone who delivered it. This is actually a subclass of something else. And in here you have all kinds, what are the costs and what are the tasks and what is the description. So there are, there's a much more complicated uh, model behind the, the amount of money spent with the building. So it depends on what you want to do and what you want to find out. So that was my second demo. Now I give the word to Anik. We have, I have two slides at the, at the end. Uh, so you have seven minutes or whatever. Mike? You find them. Uh, you find them if you. Your oh, okay. Close the others. You can close it. It's it's on the right on the bigger one. Yeah, there you are. What are you looking for? Word. It's the third. Now we should get through with the standard German customer analysis. I must thank Herb uh, for this. Uh, and, uh, well, he asked me uh, what is your template for your document. So I wrote down so my specific template here, Haiti. And then uh, I can show you how your uh, framework also uh, the document. So it's all there. Seven pages. Ah, there, there it's a... Uh. Oh, yes, yes, a template. Uh, yeah, I think I'm missing uh, some... Um, uh, well, my template is supposed to have some predefined style, like title one, title two, blah, blah, blah. And um, for some reason, I don't know why, because it was not in there uh, yesterday. Uh, 
this was working right yeah. an hour ago. Uh, now we see the property, uh, this is the <laughs> okay. Click on it when you want to go somewhere. Yeah, so for instance, if you, this code was a uh, thing here taken from Microsoft, and you can uh, uh, certainly don't make native payment on the GPU version can be used on the web. So you just have to do a GPU code and you are able to generate uh, uh, what you really want to generate. Okay, I don't need that. So um, to wrap up, um, after the demo, what is this based on? This is all based on VisualWorks and ComConnect. And the idea is to use reflection without mirror classes, without mirror methods, and just created objects from the type library. And it's just simple to use. The status of our work, and uh, this shares with the work that um, Anik is offering. It is a service. So the base components are in the product, so everybody of you can do this. But we are going to offer this as an individual service for people who have the problem in most, uh, mostly in the mid-range industry. So what, are, what did we show? The goal was to overcome the concept, conceptual limitations of Excel. Uh, with a easy to understand analysis, to avoid error-prone handwork, 
to model the business with our favorite tool, the best way to model things is Smallpox, you all know this, to get reproducible analysis, to adapt to changing Excel formats or ac changing corporate standards in Word, and uh, to be independent of the Word version, but not of the Word language where we saw. You can also do that, but then you have to do other stuff and uh, questions. I know it's almost lunchtime. Using com. What? With com. Yes, com connect also exists, but not with this interface, but with function interface. If you go to the function interface, it's, it's not, but, but uh, word, word offers automation, so it doesn't have the function interface. You, you only can call through the function. The speed up which I made is uh, uh, if you if you call the call is expensive, so the differences between the fast and the slow was that if you build up the entire contents of your Excel spreadsheet in an array of arrays in Smalltalk, and you just send them over with one call to Excel, it is as fast as sending a single cell. So. Uh, and it, the call takes. So when, it, when you saw the, the slow thing before, that was all due to sending cell by cell the values, sending them cell by cell. When you do them all at once, it's like this. It's a big, big, big difference. More questions? Yes. Michael? Yes. No, it, 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 each page, each sheet. Hmm? Yeah, so he was asking whether we would read the, the entire sheet. Yes, we do. And uh, the way we do it, I can show you the method. As the number of rows and columns are limited to 65,335. Um, so then you can do chunks. So we found out that it is much, I can, it is in Excel environment, Excel application. There we can say get all cells. Get all cells gets the size of the sheet, which is not easy to get. You have to go to the copy buffer to get it. And then it does range from to and get value, that's the way we, we get it. And this is just a performance issue. You could do them one by one, it's much slower. And the size of the sheet is done with, size of sheet is done with copy all cells as string and then shrink buffer and then counts the volumes and things. So we actually copy twice for not to copy too much and the, ca the count is just a counting, and the copy all cells of as a string is this. So it talks through the Excel spreadsheet, select your entire sheet, uh, switch on the copy codes, and put everything in the paste buffer and count the tabs in the paste buffer. This is basically how it works. Can you have uh, Yes. Uh, so Excel as ActiveX control. I don't have Excel X, uh, uh, ActiveX mm -hmm. loaded in this image. Fine, you don't want to yes, with 771 there is ActiveX embedding there. So you go to, it's not loaded in this image. You go to, this is my launcher. You go in here and say, come on. Uh, 
Atom is it over there? No. Um, hmm? Okay, directories come and then they are there, find it. ActiveX or so it's there and you can use it. Certainly, you can you can define um, things in. Uh, it doesn't have inheritance. That's clear. You can define classes there. Uh, hmm? So uh, we found out that it was pretty complicated to do it that way, and we really got stranded. So, and as you were, so it's 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 really not, and that's not from a small dagger point of view. We did do uh, Excel uh, macro programming for different projects, one in Switzerland and one in Germany, and we are very happy that we get rid of it because it's just hard to read, hard to maintain. So VBA is not, it's not the environment you want to use. Um, I'm back to this lunch, so why don't we just uh, thank her here if you want to share any other questions and stick around for a few minutes and we have some go for lunch. Thank, thank her. I'm sorry, I had an ongoing process that saved every five minutes. So no problem.